What is up, y'all? You have tuned in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina, and today, y'all, today we're going to be talking about Miss Independent Nika and how she's up on this internet acting like people are coming for her for no good reason at all. It seems like Nika don't understand why she gets so much hate in quotation. At the end of the day, girl, nobody's hating on you. Nobody cares about what you're really doing. We are shocked, sweetie. We are absolutely in awe with the way that you raise your children. They don't look put together when they go out. Their hair is a mess. Their clothes are a mess. Their clothes don't fit. Their clothes too big or too small. Side drinking soda. Girl, I think maybe you need to re-examine yourself if everybody's saying the same damn thing. And even you know that you're not taking care of your children properly. That's why you get on here and got to show us that you're washing your daughter's hair. That's why you got to tell us when you do any little thing for your children because you know you look out for yourself before you'll look out for your minor children and that's a damn shame. Let's get it, y'all. Back up there. She got a clock set. What? With a knife. Is yeah. that a knife? I mean, with the scissors, of course, you're going to need this to open the box up. So let's do this right here. Long burn hot. Got scissors right here. I'm about to finish the rest of the box. I'm thankful scissors too. Look how they looking at us, bro. Well, Naya, they looking at you because your mother is in the middle of Walmart parking lot, opening up a package and trying on shoes while your siblings are in the back of probably this hot truck beside a spare tire playing that's why they looking at you you know why they looking at you all right yeah that came out good all right so let's do this right here all right so y'all we got the box open let's look inside come on y'all. first bag oh my god what's all this shoes jordan's thank you jordan's thank you these are jordan's these are size 6.5 one of my babies more shoes. More shoes. More shoes. Oh, my kids can rock the fuck out these. Oh, my kids can rock the fuck out these. They do not need those. They're going to damage them things. Is it boys? I think those are kids very much. I'm just going through stuff. I can't fit it. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm going to put these in boys. I can't. Oh, yeah, they're boys. Pretty much they're in boys. Yep, these in boys. These are joints. She said. I forgot these. I forgot these. Here's another pair she sent. Oh, I can't fit these. So we got with one of my kids. Oh, I can't fit these. So we got with one of my kids. What they do? They shoot on your foot, but when I get shoes, I can't stand them. So I'm thinking maybe we confused as to who these shoes belong to because she's saying stuff like. Oh, these can't fit me, so they'll have to go to one of my kids as if it was sent to her and they're for her. And if she can't fit them, she'll give them to the kids. He's going to take what she wants and then give them the leftovers. Absolutely insane. This right here is one reason why people be like shaking their head at you. Who does this? Don't look right and it's messed up. These are children that we're speaking about. You so excited for yourself. You got towels and sheets and I'm going to do the fuck out of my bathroom and this, that, and the third. And you taking everything out of this box, donated stuff that was sent to you, and you're going to have it for yourself. And we know that because we see the purple shoes that you were wearing. You said that those shoes were new. The tag was still on them. And the Jordans that were sent were still in okay condition. Now you're hollering, they're going to tear them up. They're used shoes. And their children, teach them not to tear them up. Teach them how to take care of their stuff so that you won't be saying stuff like, they don't need those, they're going to tear them up about used shoes. You got some of these. Tag still on them. Nice as fuck. Let me show y'all my shoes. Look. Ugh. Mm. 
bath stuff. Oh shit. Bath stuff. Nice as fuck. Wow, she got me a whole set. Towels. Washcloths. Girl, this stuff is nice, girl. No, you about to decorate your bathroom. I'm about to decorate the fuck out of it. Pillowcases. Oh my god. She got the sheet set, everything down there. Alright, this one is. Oh. oh, he called Harriet. Boys can wear these to school. She got a whole wardrobe. Shorts for boys. Nice shit. Now, y'all notice how she only took about 10 seconds to show us the boys' stuff because there's nothing in there for her. But those shoes she went through, that bag with the sheets and the bathroom stuff, she went through. Why? Because it's for her. She don't give a shit about them damn kids and what they got. You got an outfit that go with that in the house. Which one? Oh, that blue yeah, one. Yeah, oh, or that other one that, that um. Oh, yeah. It seems like it's Christmas morning in there with you, but... I'm not saying that you shouldn't be excited about your bath towels and your sheets and all of that stuff, especially if you don't have it. We just know that you could do better to get yourself some things, but you spend your time at fast food restaurants and the bingo hall. And this is not the first time that we seen Nika be very selfish with shit like shoes. I cannot for the life of me understand how you can order your children $18 pair of shoes, fat form shoes that look like, girl, this is not 1990, whatever. Ain't nobody wearing fat form. And the fact that they were $18 in city trends is why you got them. It didn't matter if they were fucking Power Ranger shoes. They were $18 <laughs> and she wasn't going to buy them. And that's all cool and dandy, baby, if that's all you can afford. But it seems like at some point in time, you can afford better for yourself. You make a way for yourself. So we going to need you to make a way for the kids so that they have Nikes. Because you won't hear hollering. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so these are my Nikes here I got for myself. Here, order online. And then you want here hollering. I don't know what's wrong with y'all not shopping at City Trends, but each one of my big kids got shoes away to school. And these shoes was $18, yo. Nice shoes. I don't care what nobody say. I shop cheap for my kids. With these Air Force One lookalikes, you get the most basic shit for your children because it's cheap. You shop at the Goodwill for your children because it's cheap. This is where the problem lies. This is where the problem lies. Not the fact that you don't have much and you can't do much. People can respect that as long as you're doing what you can. But you can't get up here, honey, and show us everything that you got in style and profile. And we looking at these kids and it looks like they living in squalor. We can't do that and we're not going to do that. Either you're trolling us <laughs> or it's like, do she really not understand why people say she's a poor excuse for a mother? But anyway, let me show you. Since you don't know, Miss Nika, why people are saying what they're saying. So, for instance, like right here, like you don't see nothing wrong with your son. Why would you let the boy walk around looking like this? I can clearly tell, you can clearly tell that that shirt is not buttoned up correctly. And you know it's not. Why would you let, allow your son to walk out the house looking like this? Same thing with Kira. This is the shoes she got on. She couldn't find a pair of her shoes. Why do you have your children walking out the house looking like poo putts? Why you got them walking around looking dirty, Nika? Let's be real. They just look unkept. It's sickening. The way that you're doing these kids, but yet you get on here and try to show off your hair with your big ass forehead and shit. We don't want to see that. We want to see these girls' hair done. We can give a shit less about your hair. Let me see your girls' hair done. You're sickening. Since we talking about hair, it looks like she got on here and she was showing us that she's washing Leah's hair and she's washing Sai's hair. For me, it was a bit traumatic. It didn't look like their hair was wet. It looks like she was just putting shampoo on dry hair. For me, I don't know how y'all do it down in South Carolina, but I don't step into a shower and just start rubbing soap on me. I have to be wet first. Just the rushing in it of it all. Like you showing us these L'Oreal products. Girl, please get out of here. Um, Get some products for your daughter's hair. You're literally washing her hair with one hand while you got the camera in the other. Girl, put the camera down. So let's look at her wash Leah's hair and then we can move on to her other children's hair. For Leah's hair, I'm gonna be ready to wash her hair. And of course, I'm gonna put it in some ponytail for school tomorrow. So then no way in the world she can go to school looking crazy. 
I got the brush here and I got the comb here to part it with and everything. So we'll go ahead and get into this little short video here. We're gonna go ahead and wash our hair. Rough. Oh, leave it like that. Come on. I'm gonna rub it all in there. I think it's leave in. We're gonna find out. Rub it in. in the background, but you gotta let it sit. It's um, her hair is fried. And it is split ends and it is tangled. So I let it sit one to three minutes. Sorry about all the noise in the background. And her hair wash. Look how she looking. It's okay. <laughs> right here. We got you, baby. It's okay, mama. Don't put it on her face. Maybe it's me. Maybe that's how y'all do it down in South Carolina. But like, damn, wet the girl's hair first, and then hollering about your hair is rough. And that's your problem, Nika. You don't do anything with these kids' hair. And then you on camera hollering, your hair is rough. You need to take care of it. You got beautiful hair. She do have beautiful hair. And her mother neglects it just like she neglects Lena and Kira. Lena and Kira's hair have been the same way for a month. They are little girls. And they got the same little ponytails in for a month. Come on now, Nika. You couldn't just at least take the ponytails out, repart, grease it up and redo her, their ponytails. You couldn't take 20 minutes out of your day to do that. Don't step in no water. Don't step in no water. Go. 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 And I try to do my due diligence. Their hair was done on March the 2nd. And Nika, this is not to make you feel bad. As you said, bring your name down. These girls' hair been like this since March the 2nd. It is April the 4th. And you don't see a problem with that. So don't get on here and, you know, say somebody's hating on you or people are miserable and this, that, and the third. Girl, people see you neglecting your kids. And you think it's all about you. People don't give a shit about you. It's about what you're doing to these children. And right here, look at Kira. This girl got one shoe on and one shoe off. And the fact that even Kira would get out of the car and walk up to the store like this and walk throughout the store like this and think it's okay is a problem. And that's her mom's problem because her mom has let her think it's okay to do that. This is ridiculous. This is how your children walk around looking. This is mild compared to the shit that really is going on. So you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, do you ever walk around with one shoe on and one shoe off? Why would you allow your daughter to walk out the house or walk out or get out the car like this? Absolutely crazy. And then you wonder why people say you're a piss poor mom. You don't pay attention to your children at all. In fact, as soon as she walked into the store, y'all, this is what she did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, grab your buggies. Grab. Everybody grab one, go that way. Go. That way. Um, I said no, put that back. No lie to pop. Halloween is COVID. I hear y'all. In the title of one of her vlogs, <laughs> it said, we have fun in the store. She's screaming and yelling in the store. Then wonder why her kids act like wild animals in the store. Because this is what you teach them to do. You go in the store, you leave eight minor children or whoever by themselves to run around and to wreak havoc on the people who are working there. You're a piss poor mom. Screaming across the store, I hear y'all. Okay? Go get your kids. And then she likes to get loud in the store to like to show people that I guess I'm a strict mommy. And this is the type of shit that she does in the store. You got D's and F in your report card. You get nothing else out of the store. Do you understand me? Oh, thank you. 
But let's be real. You hollering about this boy ain't getting nothing else from the store because he got D's and F's. But yet, let's talk about where he coming from. When he waking up in the morning, does he have a meal? And if he don't have a meal, is he at school on time so he can at least eat at school? Does he have a bed to sleep in, Nika? Does he have living room furniture? Does he even have hot water at home, Nika? Does he have a mother who looks after him? He don't got none of that shit. Let's be real. So when you're hollering about your child got D's and E's and they still in grade school, baby, I'm looking at you just as well. Your child was like 10 or something in the third grade or some shit. Why, why is that? What's going on? So before you get on here and try to embarrass somebody in the middle of the store screaming and yelling, like people look at it like, oh, she's laying down the law and she's disciplining her kids. You're a ratchet ass mother. And we can see how loud your children are in the store that you're a ratchet mom, that you're not even with them, that you allow your small little girls to run around the store by themselves. You're sick in the head if you think that that's something a good mom would do. Because me, it wouldn't matter if you was a little girl, a little boy. It wouldn't matter. You're not going to leave my eyesight. You can be on this aisle and go look at the toys while I'm down the other end. But you will not leave my eyesight. For the sheer fact of I don't want nobody to snatch up my child and people in this world is crazy. Or somebody do something to my child and I'm not around. No, you're a piss poor ass mom. You need to rename your channel, rebrand your channel, and change it to something like eat and ride with Nika while we go to wash clothes and go to the dollar store to pick up bags of chips. That's all you do. But you, I'm a good, my mother's work is never done and this, that, and the third. You're not doing anything. You look pitiful out here. And the fact that you think that you're actually really taking care of your children is very disturbing. I don't know what it's going to take for you to understand that you are not taking care of your children to the best of your capabilities simply because we see what you're doing. And then you're mad because people are saying something about what you're doing. So get on here and brag about this baby daddy. I don't care about the baby daddy. He don't get no kudos over here. He a deadbeat just like she a deadbeat. You don't do shit. Neither one of you. You sit around and watch your, your kids look like shit and keep it moving. The dad as well. He see what's going on with his kids. And he ain't did a damn thing. He's a no good daddy. And she's a no good mother. But the fact that she gets up on here. And puts this shit on the internet. And think that people aren't going to say anything. Is beyond me. But that is not for me to decide. Y'all let me know how you are feeling in the comments. All about Miss Independent Nika. And how she don't understand that she's not a good mom. Let me know how you feel about how her children walk around in public and she sees nothing wrong with it. Well, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. My name is Regina. Remember to always keep it real and your girl is out. Yeah. They got all of them now. They're gonna play overnight. I'm also gonna watch the video. Yeah. Get off my head! Kill the one Why are you so damn bad? I'm not bad. You is bad. No, I'm not. You stay doing something.